Today is a day that we celebrate our nation and its great people. We celebrate the sterling labors of our heroes past, the sacrifices of so many that have enabled us to be this great nation that we are. We recognize that we are here because so many paid the price and that we are going forward because many are still making the sacrifice. But this evening, I also want to share with you something lighter, but as important. One of the unique attributes of the Nigerian person. I've described it as the Nigerian swag. That uniquely confident way that makes us stand out everywhere and in everything that we do. So look at this sport called bobsled. They once thought that only white people could do this because it's a winter sport. And if you don't have winter and snow in your country, you can't be a bobsled champion. Well, so they thought until the Nigerians came. At the Winter Olympics in Pyongyang in South Korea, three Nigerian girls, Ngozi Omumere, Akoma Omeoga, and Shion Adibu, became the first Africans in bobsled at the Winter Olympics. And they raced into history in style, and they ended it with a dance. How else would you know that they are Nigerians? <laughs> the World Cup came in May 2018. But well before the World Cup kicked off, we had started winning. When Nike released the design of our jersey called Niger in February 2018, three million people pre-ordered the jersey for $90 a piece online. And eventually thousands of people lined up to buy it. It sold out within hours in the stores. The jersey was lit. So lit that we won the first prize for the best dressed team. Peru came second and Belgium came third. And then there is Anthony Joshua. As far as we are concerned, the best boxer in the world. Not only is he a heavy hitter, but he could also pass for a model. So much swag. Anthony Joshua. How about the Nigerian wedding? That has become the toast of the world. Amongst other things, we are teaching the world that every wedding deserves a hashtag. So we have that. Bad 2017. That's the one of Banky W and Adeswa Etomi. And then there's hashtag Yemi Dolly 1989. Eat your hearts out. That's me and my lovely wife. Then to the dramatic entrance of the bridal party. Just look at that one. The groom flying. <laughs> and of course, they are sure be. They are learning Nigerian languages everywhere. So see here is a kindergarten class in China. The children are learning Igbo. Ato, 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 
Ano. Ano. Ise. Ise. Isi. Isi. Very soon, everyone is going to be speaking in Igbo. Our contemporary dances have so much swag. From Skelewu to Sekem. How many people know Skelewu? To Shakiti Bobo. <laughs> to Shaku Shaku. And the most recent, Zanku. I'm sure you all know how to base it. Base it. So, all over the world. Uh -huh, now, look at them. That is base it. All over the world. Everybody is base it now. All of us one. Just hear this. Hear this man. Nobody dances like us. Nobody dances like us. And it doesn't matter whether you are the distinguished senator representing Kogi West, <laughs> or the distinguished senator representing Oshun West. Nobody dances like us. For that matter, or for that matter, if you are the richest man in Africa, all of us dance. matter, even if you are the president of Africa's largest economy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> we just love to dance. We just love to dance. And our dancing has swag. Every Nigerian can dance. It doesn't matter how old you are. We just have that rhythm, that, that thing that is so Nigerian. It doesn't matter how old you are. And, and even, even if like President Obasanjo, you really can't dance you still have your own swag anyway. Uh, when, it, uh, when it comes to fashion, when it comes to fashion, we are masters of style. From the gillies. And look at what Iarembo is wearing. And of course, the famous Madame Kofo's Gele. Nigerians have brought Ankara to mainstream fashion. So Nigerian designers are making waves internationally. 
with the infusion of Ankara in all their collections, and the likes of Lisa Folawio, Maki O, Andrew Yama, Kennedyze, Moa Ogulesi, have been featured in Vogue and other international fashion magazines, and events such as the New York Fashion Week. The Nigerian American designer, Enna Udemba, designed Beyonce's drop dead gorgeous Ankara outfit that you're seeing up there. Today, the whole world is wearing our Ankara from Michelle Obama, Rihanna, and Kim Kardashian. Everybody is wearing the Nigerian Ankara. And Agbada became a movement after the Merry Men movie premiere with the Agbada Challenge. And even, I just look at the Agbada Challenge, and even the politicians have caught the bug. And you see, ah, there you go. The politicians have also caught the bug of the Agbada Challenge. And then here comes Fitchery with his trademark black kaftan. The number one swag, the PMB swag. Happy Independence, everybody. God bless you.